What? Ow. Mm. Mm. I forgot that I sprained my thumb This past weekend I sprained my thumb I don't know if you can see it now But it's basically blue and yellow here And basically this part is uh, decolored And it, it hurts it Hurts like a bitch It's actually kind of embarrassing It's uh, I, I sprained my thumb when I was uh, just about to smack a wasp queen and her nest in my uh, garage or a carport it was a hard to reach place up in the ceiling and I thought it would be uh, smart if I put a board like a uh, big board like this and shove it straight into the <laughs> to the nest but uh, I missed hit the wall damaged my thumb and I ran out of the carport crying with a wasp after me so yeah there won't be a riff of the day today uh not even sure how i'm gonna be able to record videos this week <laughs> with this fob i have a shit ton of demos to do but yeah it's just not happening i guess good thing about it is that even though i didn't kill the queen wasp at that point i did it the next day so she's dead there's no nest being made now so i'm happy and ola why are you such an asshole killing wasp queens like that I don't like wasps. Aussie Perez. Hey, Ola, did you ever have a favorite candy growing up? If so, what was it? Thank you and have a happy fit prut. <laughs> he basically told me to have a great queef. Yeah, that was a Swedish word today. Eh? A long time ago. Uh, favorite candy? I'm a sucker for chocolate. And uh, there was this uh, Swedish brand, Marabo. And uh, the regular uh, milk chocolate they had was excellent. I loved it. But then, when they got bought up by Mondelez, you know, the big-ass corporation, they switched all the sugar into a palm oil. And now it tastes like ass. So, there you go. Still big fan of chocolate, though. Thoughts are blue. Where are you? In my mouth. Soon. That's the song I just made. James Scott. Ola, it's obvious that you're married up. Congratulations, that's hard to do. I married up as well, so I know how hard it is. Love the channel, keep rocking. Have you ever thought about that was actually my wife that married up? Huh? I mean, I think she's lucky to have me. It's not the other way around. You know, she's way more beautiful than I. But you know what I am? I'm just as beautiful on the inside. <laughs> Victoria Garcia, hola, two questions. Did you ever get to see Pantera live and can you play Preachers of Death for Riffa today? Okay, first of all, Preachers of Death. I've had Preachers of Death as like the Riffa today my maybe like three or four times already. Just go watch a, an old FAQ. And I can't show anyway because, you know, I'm, my thumb hurts. Oh. And uh, did I ever get to see Pantera live? Yes, I saw him once in the year of 2000 for uh, Reventing the Steel album. And uh, it was just as awesome as I imagined it to be. And uh, it was amazing. It was amazing. I think opening app was Power Man 5000. Something else? Satyricon maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I had tickets for Tattoo the Planet uh, in 2001. They were supposed to play there as well. 9-11 happened. And they stayed in the US instead. Which totally bummed me out. Made me really sad. I wanted to see him again. Bullet Magnet, 37. Eh, fuck! Besides Pantera, what would be your dream band to go on the road with? I mean, if you think band quality-wise, Metallica would be pretty cool. Just saying, they're a big band. Slayer! Fuck, that would be awesome. Just play Slayer all day. That would be amazing. Just Slayer. Slayer here, Slayer there. On a personal level, I still think I would like to go out on tour with The Haunted more. Uh, because uh, we just have such a great time going out on tour it's oh it's ah the dynamics are amazing we match really good together i mean we're all different type of people but it works really great in a dynamic sense and we have a lot of fun so i wouldn't switch out that for anything else in the world right now dennis grauman hey ola how do you handle this whole sights thing do you try to avoid endangered woods type with solo guitars sometimes it's hard to keep hard to import guitars and travel with them when they're built with sites registered wood types i really enjoy your videos thank you thank you so much 
so uh, we follow the site's regulations so obviously we're not using any woods that are really endangered right now uh, in our guitars but it's also kind of weird from the other side of things to watch which woods sites are classing as endangered i think the latest problem was that they uh, listed rosewood as an endangered species and it became very difficult to travel or import or export uh, guitars with rosewood uh, fretboards on them but the problem is that this is basically someone deciding that rosewood was endangered while ebony is a little bit more endangered than rosewood so it's basically came down to just one guy deciding that yep we need to save rosewood in this world I'm a hero, blah blah blah, this is Rosewood, stop! But I think they're lifting the Rosewood sites uh, ban so instrument builders can still use Rosewood. We just have to see how everything develops. I'm looking into other materials as well. It's a work in progress, I would say. But yeah, we follow the sites rules and regulations right now. So there's nothing you have to worry about if you purchase a solo guitar from solarguitars.com sales guy John Gloom so basically Discord is paying to be Ola's friend lame oh you, oh you totally missed the point it's not only that you get all of this other things that it's amazing you get these weekly updates I haven't made a weekly update in two weeks but it's gonna happen live streams for uh, members exclusive content you know I have membership exclusive logs mixing videos and you know stuff like that extra content you know uh, downloadable irs and presets and uh, shit tons of stuff and then you also get to join my discord channel and discord server and play games with me huh so basically you're paying to be my friend yes yes you are <laughs> Maybe that doesn't sound that good, but we're still having a lot of fun <laughs> on Discord. Where is Discord? I need the support of my Discord friends right now. Shit. Help me. You know what the problem was with my thumb? I sprained it, but I worked the whole day afterwards. Like, you know, you know how you're a man. You're like, oh, it's just a sprained thumb. Who cares? And I was shoveling dirt uh, the rest of the day. So now it gone bad. But I also play Gang Beasts with this thumb. I'm like, oh, I cannot play guitar oh, because of the sprained thumb. I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about not being able to play Gang Beast with my Discord friends. Oh, oh, I got my Discord window open. Oh, thank God. Everything feels a lot better now. Oh, what is he saying? Oh, yes. Oh, these are my friends. I don't have real friends. I only have Discord friends now. So, yeah, if you want to pay to become a friend, click the join button below. Sales guy, hola. Santeri Rantanen, what games are you playing on your computer? Greetings from Finland and come visit to Finland. Yes, I would love to come visit to Finland. I'm playing Gang Beasts and Sekiro right now. But uh, to be honest, I'm playing more Gang Beasts and uh, I'm kind of stuck in Sekiro. Uh, why am I stuck? It's not because I'm bad at Sekiro. I'm kick-ass in Sekiro. Uh, it's because I'm playing Gang Beasts all the time with my, you know, with my paying friends. <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound that good. The other Genesis, does members have retroactive access to older member-only videos or just whatever comes after one pays up? Of course you get to see all the older videos. Shit, there's a lot of membership questions. Uh, you can almost think that I'm plugging it somehow. But uh, no, I would never do that. Thank you. Rhett Anderson, I would love to get your thoughts on my all-time favorite... <laughs> favorite Swedish male bands, Opef, Dissection. This member and what time? Okay, Opeth, I already said uh, what I thought about Opeth. Dissection, uh, haven't really listened that much to them. I respect what they do. Uh, sorry, I respect what they did. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, someone's gonna get pissed now. This member though, this member. Oh my God, in the face. That's the HM2 band right there that everybody's ripping off uh, to sound like, uh, you know, Stockholm death metal or whatever. Like an ever-flowing stream. That's the fucking album right there. If you haven't checked it out, go listen to some piece of history, okay? This member. <coughs> member. Oh, you can become a member. Uh, you can pay. Pay to play. Uh, Ola. This member. Who's this member? Oh, it's only Robin. Oh, <laughs> Robin. Oh, you're so funny. Discord friend. What time? I haven't listened to them. No, I actually have not listened to them. I have no idea what they sound like. I think it's like black metal, isn't it? 
Ola tasting shit. All right, Ola tasting shit of the day, of the week. Of tasting shit. I'm lucky. I found an American uh, gift store. <laughs> so I can buy my American candy uh, for this segment. But um, why is it just American candy, Ola, you asshole? Because 29% of my viewers are from the US of A. So yeah, today I'm trying out this. This is a Twinkie. But the ingredients are actually in Swedish, so that's nice. It contains flour, water, sugar, corn syrup, cotton seed oil okay nut fat interesting there's a lot of shit in this okay let me try it out though if someone told me 10 years ago uh, that i would eat american candy on uh youtube and it being great content i would not have believed you but uh, i guess here i am <laughs> twinkie fuck oh sensor Okay, one more try. Uh, Louise, mm -hmm. come it. Louise is gonna try it out. Prove on her. Hey, hang on, can you show that face? <laughs> can you show that face? Mm -hmm. That was the face. Yeah, I agree. It, this was, this was oh, it's like, it, it, it tastes fabricated. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> That's what she said. Great, Ola, tasting shit. Thank you. Uh. Twinkies. Yeah. Mercurio Araya. Ola, your kids need you. I would be happy if you don't upload videos for one week, just for them to spend time with daddy. Uh. Don't miss those ages. Unplug you. My best wish to you and your family. Oh, I love people telling me what to do. <laughs> and. I mean, this comment is written with good intent. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But you know what? I work during the day. Right now, my kids are at daycare. And that's kind of like how it works. You know, you, you go to school, you leave them at school, they go to daycare, and you work when they're there. Okay? It's called uh, work life. So you don't have to worry. I mean, I'm spending a lot of time with my kids. A lot more than uh, if I would have a desk job, you know? The Crimson one. Ola, make an FAQ with your children. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've shown a lot less of my children lately. And it's basically just to protect them uh, from uh, you assholes. <laughs> uh, you know, on the Discord, I would show it to all of the members on my Discord, because those are legit people. They're not like you assholes. They're legit. Like this guy. I'll send a picture of my kid to Rexus here. Uh... No, I'm not going to send a picture of my kid to him. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to protect them. And, you know, I want to be able to give them the choice of participating if they want to when they become older. But right now, I, I don't want to expose them to, to all of this. I mean, Luis, I said and asked, like, okay, do you want to be, ex like, is it okay with you if I keep you in some of my videos? And, you know, are you okay with that? I can't do that with my kids because they won't understand. So uh, that's why you're not seeing my kids that much anymore. And if I do show them it's censored okay great thank you great question tyler britton oh hola out of anyone woohoo 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 who would be the coolest person you can think of give a speech at your funeral shit that got dark that smell right positive comment of the day okay uh yeah it's not really that positive is it but um hmm good question now, if I would die and had a funeral, I would love to have a comedian there to just, you know, lighten up the mood. Who would it be? Could it be that guy in Rick and Morty that does all the voices and the, uh, the writing? Justin Roiland? Yes. I would love to have Justin Roiland having a speech at my funeral. That would be awesome. I would love to. And preferably being drunk. Would be great. Sean S, is it me, or does Ola still kind of have that nervous butterfly in the stomach tick around his wife? I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all, Ola. It's just refreshing to see a rock star in that way. I'm probably wrong, but lol. I'm in love with my wife. I mean, I, I, I'm happy with her. So that's probably what you're seeing. You're probably seeing me being happy. You know, I love being with her. I love to be in her company. You know, when I hired her, 
it was basically make her more free, but also for me to be more with her. And uh, hopefully it's both ways, but <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with being with my wife. She, she uh, brings me pleasure and joy in life. So uh, if you see that in the video, probably it's true. Okay, so after my hostile comment of the week becoming sort of like a thing, it became obvious a lot of people uh, said that I missed out on the opportunity of calling it hostile comment of the week. Great, it's uh, probably gonna demonetize my video, but let's just try it anyway. The point with this is that I host a uh, hostile comment. It's basically it. So let's see, what do we have here? Potentially inappropriate. Hola, bitch. You're always showing yourself with your super hot wife, then you play on sky high price pieces of gear with your unaffordable solar guitars. What's going to be your next prom queen move? You're gonna show yourself sit on an elephant, the letter sofa eating a baby beluga steak? Fuck you, man. Thank you. That was amazing. Oh, there's actually more. I love what you do. Many cheers from Quebec. Oh, oh, he fooled me there. He had a hostile comment and then it was a positive comment. Thank you so much, David. Adam D, Cyberpunk 277 trailer. Watch it, period. Now, period. I saw it. If it's anything like Witcher in the future, with Keanu Reeves, it's a win. The only thing that made me nervous is that right after they showed the trailer, they launched the pre-orders of the game. And you know when they launch the pre-orders early, there's a problem. That makes me think, oh shit, what's wrong? What's wrong with the game? But then again, it's probably gonna be awesome. It's uh, Project Red, goddammit. They do everything right. Max Cossack, hey Ola, signal chain! Volume pedal in front or in the end of the single chain. Confused and nearly to cry, oh shit. I mean, it depends on what you want. If you want to remove everything of your single path, like the delay and everything, you would put the volume pedal at the end of the single chain, okay? But if you use it in the absolute first, after your guitar, you can make those awesome John Petrucci, uh, you know, volume swells with delay and shit. And it's magical, basically. I would use it in the front, just after the guitar, and uh, it will be sexy. Klimo, when are you going to make videos where you talk less and play guitar more? Okay, maybe I should start a segment called Passive Aggressive Comment of the Day, because this is passive aggressive right there. Back in the day, I wasn't talking at all. I just play guitar, which makes sense. I mean, I'm a guitar player, but you know, I can't play. My thumb is sprained. I can't use it, but I can wave, like this, wave to the people, not to the Discord friends. Okay, member question of the day, members, members, members everywhere, it's a good jingle for uh, member question of the week, kids on a boat on a child leash, Ola, what's your, oh shit, this is hard, Ola, what is your best settings for a Mesa rectifier? without a boost and active pups. Um, okay, so at least you have active pickups, which helps to do the rectifier a little bit. And, uh, but without a boost, it's a little bit hard. But still, with a rectifier, even though I would use a boost, I would try and keep all the settings as close as 12 o'clock as possible. Usually base at 12, mid at 12 to maybe one o'clock, treble, 12 to and sometimes even back it down to 11 and same with gain just 12 o'clock uh, one o'clock just mess around somewhere along those lines and you should be good you know a rectifier isn't really a spaceship when it comes to different types of tones it really has its own tone but that's it one really good tip is just play harder use thicker picks like this one 1.4 plectra by uh, dunlop that's a good one. Okay, another one from my member, German Gear Nerd Sebastian. Hey Ola, how many hater comments you have on your channel? I get one or two per month and they they are really annoying. More subscriber, more hater. Great question. And yes, I do get haters and uh, I do get occasionally hostile comments, but you know what? I'm getting less of them. And you know why? Because if I do get a hater comment, 
I basically just block right away and just remove them same goes for my Facebook discussion group same goes for Discord if someone's being an asshole see ya don't waste any energy on these guys just, you know, just delete the comment, ban them, whatever if you just keep on doing this, you're creating your own awesome community and I see it here on Discord with all my paying members but the community here is amazing and it's really mature people just being awesome and that's how you create your own community if I see a hater comment, see ya gone positive ola, that's how it works so you're in control of your own channel so you decide the rules on your channel, okay? if someone goes in there and hates on your stuff well, give them this and that's it basically you don't have to do more oh, that was actually the last question uh, did I miss anything? oh okay no, yeah, but I'm a fan alright, I'm gonna go play Gang Beast with my Discord friends uh, see ya alright, let's go <laughs> Come on. See ya. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah! Yes! Got him. Maybe you just left me. Ha! <laughs> ah, no. Oh, damn it. Alright, so if you want to be as cool as these guys, you can join my Discord and uh, become a member. Pay me money and you can beat me in Gang Beast. <laughs> My thumb hurts as well. But it's all worth it. Just so I can throw off Robin. <laughs> and this stupid cat. Alright, thank you for watching this FAQ. Uh, see you next week. This is how I look like when I play, by the way. <laughs>